Hello everybody. Today I want to do a test of this display right here. And I'm using my cell phone because GoPro just cannot capture these finer details. And uh, this test will come as a courtesy of another YouTuber and a good supporter of my channel. And I definitely return the favor. Uh, the Panzer Platform, a guy by the name of Chuck. And what he did was he probably found through some either through experience or through research a way to self-test this display on the, on the newer so 2006 and up to through 2011 panther cars anything with this type of a display so you have to have that display otherwise there is nothing to display on the display um and i'm gonna be doing it um and i guess he did mention that it would work on a police interceptor and in, in crown victoria's without this type of display because then it'll it'll just display a little differently on that little slit of a display so so thank you chuck thank you panzer platform channel uh i am curious to see what i'm gonna find out <laughs> and whether or not any of the stuff that you showed on on your grand marquee will work which which i'm pretty sure it will and in case if you guys are wondering what's up with with these things i've recently installed this stitched on leather and it was fine uh nothing wrong with it but i had to cut it because i had to have this wood exposed i couldn't couldn't find it in my heart to just block it all and everything worked fine i cut it it worked it, it holds but the thing is my hand would get caught so as i'm driving it you know i hold it like this and then my hand would slip and then i would a little inadvertently you know pull the leather apart on both ends and at some point i'm like well if i do this enough time some of this some of the stitch work might might start undoing because it is compromised due to the cut so i was like well let's use just regular kitchen shrink wrap and and, and and wrap it up and looks like it's it's holding i had it done you know recently and it's not going anywhere i didn't want to use tape because then the glue might might leak all right so here we go i need to be holding so the car's off right now keys are in it um i'm gonna be holding the select and reset buttons so select and reset right up there and of course they couldn't they couldn't come up with anything easier than this and i'm gonna have to put the phone down because i don't have a third hand i don't have anywhere to secure my cell phone so i'm gonna turn the key to the accessory on or maybe I can do this like this. So I'm going to turn it to the accessory on. I'm going to hold it. And I'm going to check to see what happens. Mm, nothing. Okay, so maybe I do need to be holding it before I put the key in the accessory on position. All right, let's check that out. All right, so holding the buttons down. Ah, there you go. Now, how in the world am I going to film this? I don't know. All right. Uh-oh. Something's happening. Sweep all gauges. Uh-oh. All right. I've never seen my car do that before. Ever. Now, I have no idea how did he film this without having the the display do the little freaking dance. So, do I need to... How do I... Oh, okay. So, maybe I do it like this. All right. All right, and then I'm gonna be pressing the select button uh, right there, and let's see what happens. So, oh, doing the dance again. All right, now, this is weird. Now, <laughs> you guys can see this. So yeah, my, my screen is dancing, you know, but then look at this, it says gauge full, and it looks like there's some Looks like there's some numbers in there. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be doing that. So there is something definitely off with my display. Now, those lines that are coming up, that are coming apart, well, it's freaky. <laughs> it's not doing that in real life. So I do want you guys to, to kind of understand. I have no idea how, what kind of camera you need to make sure that this comes out right. But anyway, I'm going to be hitting the select button and see what happens. Uh-oh. All right. So all... All microcontrolled bulbs illuminated. Okay, well, I don't know if that's all the bulbs, but I got obviously I got some some stuff there, 
And yeah, I mean, it looks like they're illuminated. I guess the turn signals are not illuminated, but everything else is. Uh, yeah, I don't see any other. Uh, all right. So select again. Part number, prefix, 6W13, suffix AK. AK for what? I don't know what that any of that stuff means. Now I gotta give credit to to Chuck. You know, when he was going through it, he's like, well, oh, this is trash. This is this doesn't make any sense. I think that's what I'm gonna be doing because I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Okay, micro ROM level, ROM dollar sign 302 NVM 30. I don't know. Oh, I just hit info. Nope, got to hit select. Micro NVM level, dollar sign on one. Manufacturer test date, B549. What does that even mean? Why, like if it says a date, why can't they just put an actual date? I don't know. Manufacturer config setting 20. Now, it would be interesting if I could actually change anything here. Not like if I could actually do some settings. VOPS config setting 4940. No clue. Vehicle config setting zero. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, 262D. Now, I wonder if anybody is watching or maybe Chuck, if you know, does any, any of this stuff mean anything? Like, the, like, like, should I be worried? Like, am I failing a test right now? I mean, obviously I'm not failing this test. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. It's zero, zero. I don't know what 100 DC means. Tachometer. All right. Well, that's good. I'm not going anywhere. My engine is not going. Uh, Uh-oh. Okay. So I got some moving over there. Fuel gauge. God, how do I stop? How do I stop the screen from doing what it's doing right now? Do I need a fancy camera? Nope. Do I need to zoom out? Uh, this is crap. Let me try it. Maybe if I turn off that stabilization mode. All right. Well, I don't know if this is any better. It's probably shaking because I turned off that super steady cam mode and then it started, stopped flickering. So I don't know if that's going to do anything or it's going to make this whole video extremely shaky. All right. Fuel gauge two, 13.6 RFAE. But these like the volts? I don't know what this is. Temp gauge, 85. Well, my temp gauge is in the middle. Oh, oh, nope, it's dancing again. Stop it. There you go. Odometer rolling count? Oh. Well, that's that's actually interesting because I guess this shows you if the odometer rolled over. Like if it's got what, a million miles and then it rolled over to zero or something? Hmm, that's interesting battery voltage okay counts mm -hmm. dimming don't know what that is Are this like for the headlights door jar passenger jar and truck jar seat belt i guess it's because i'm sitting in it abs okay oil pressure Uh oh, <laughs> this is interesting. So it's got a dancing dollar sign. So does this mean that there is a some sort of a problem with my car and it's going to cost me about six hundred nine, six hundred ten, six hundred eleven dollars to fix? Is that what that means? Uh oh, nope, nope, don't dance. I don't know what that any of that is. Are these like the cylinder? No, I don't know. I should stop making stuff up. Dig inputs. Okay. Oh, so that's it. Oh, okay, wait, but did, didn't we do that already? Hold on a sec. Oh, your horses. So how do, yeah, so wait, so is it gonna do it again? Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, so do you guys see this? So I don't, I can't make it stop doing what it's doing, but you kind of see the outline in my, in my little pixels. 
See, there's like a two zero zero something, like a fuel gauge something, something. Like it's actually looks like someone's written down on it on that display. So I guess it's a display to check if any of your pixels are burned out. But if your pixels are burned out, you're going to see it. You're going to see it every single day. So, all right, I guess it's going to go through all of it again. Yeah, part number. So if, if there's a mechanic out there, I know there's a few. Tell me, is there anything that you're seeing here, is it going to, like, does that mean anything? Or do you need a fancy scan tool to actually make any sense of it? Now, if somebody made this for, like, a user like me to check it out, then <laughs> shouldn't it be less cryptic? Shouldn't it actually, like, say anything? Like, say, like, what it actually means? I know they don't have a whole lot of space to do that, but it's, it's a pretty sizable display. All right, so I guess it's the same thing. All right, no, I hope... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 crap. Wait, so it's doing the dance again. Hold on. Okay. So, all right. So how do I exit out of here? Do I just hit info? Reset? Setup? No, maybe I need to turn it off. Oh, okay. There you go. Back to normal with my 103,461 miles. All right, everyone. This is just a fun little experiment we got here. Didn't expect to to like, you know, find anything uh, that I could understand. But it's interesting. I've never seen my my gauges do that before. I've never, I, like I said, I didn't even know that this, these things can do that. Now, Chuck also does some weird stuff where he shows us uh, how you can like program all the automatic locks, which you can kind of see what's happening there. Uh, so I, I'm not going to mess around with this now. This video is already way too long, I think. Uh, but yeah, there's like a, some cryptic way you can like flick the key, then, then do the whole lock on lock X amount of times. And then you can program whether or not you want these to automatically lock or automatically unlock. I will do that probably some other day, but, uh, for now I saw my, my gauges dance. I saw some weird stuff. I hope you guys can, can comment if there's anything, uh, I should be worried about or, if anything you saw makes any sense. See you, everybody.